Hello everybody, welcome to a new video from the training exercise game how to create the best year ever in seven days. Today is day number five about make it happen and how to create an implementation system. Um, we'll go back to my Star Wars agenda where I took all the notes and to, to do a little recap about what we did until now. So we had an introductory video about the whole process of building the best year ever in seven days. And then we had day one, what if, and the whole idea was about to um, not to adapt the dreams to our income, but to adapt the income to our dreams. One second to put this light on. Oh, now it's better. <laughs> Forgot about it. Day two was about breaking the connection with the past. Day three was about living life by design and not by default, the way uh, the things around us um, uh, dictate it. And day four was about finding your why and considering the fact that in most of the occasions, the how is not your um, is not your duty, is not your job. So today is about make it happen and create an implementation system. And this is in, in this is where most of the educators meet shipwreck. And just as a disclaimer, this process is done in seven steps. Can be seven days or you can do this in 14 days or you can do this in in three days depending on your skills or your ability but is in seven days this is how it works and you know that seven is a magic number and what what i'm saying regarding meeting shipwreck is that so many educators today they don't have any experience about the the subject of their teachings and my advice is, let's say, if you want to, to learn how to uh, make a million dollars in uh, one year, <laughs> you need to learn this from the people who've done it. And there are a lot of people who've done it, especially in the entrepreneurship world, in the internet marketing world. And there are also seven steps for today. So during the fifth day of the seven steps to your best year, we have uh, another seven small steps. So first, get get off your butt, you know? Don't look at the circumstances around you and start moving toward your goals. Um, step two, don't overthink it. Of course, I don't say to do things without any thinking, but sometimes while you overthink instead of taking actions, the train will leave the station and you will remain in the station. Step three, chunk down your goals. So in order to reach your goals, you need to make them uh, smaller in uh, to, to, to cut them in smaller chunks. So to be able to, to uh, achieve uh, chunk by chunk and also to monitor your progress. Next step four, get in on your calendar. If it's in the calendar, is scheduled so there are many chances to be done don't forget that we are in the implementation phase where we are doing stuff step five honor your commitments and of course you have commitments to other people to stakeholders but very important you have commitments with yourself and these are the hardest to be kept let's say you say, okay, I will uh, work out um, this many times every week. This is a commitment to yourself. Let's say no, nobody will watch you if you will do it or not. So you need to meet those commitments and to honor them. And of course you will fail. And uh, if you fail, to honor one commitment of course you will um, um, it's okay you will have to honor the next one because 
don't expect that process to be easy because it will be very, very bumpy, very, very bumpy. Next, maintain forward momentum. It's like building a snowball. So every action will build will be built on top of the, the, the previous one. So slowly, slowly, you will build a machine, an implementation machine. And of course, to celebrate your wins, even the small wins, because uh, a big win is usually a result of doing a series of small wins one after the other, one on top of each other. And sometimes we are so caught up with the, the, the big goal that we forget to celebrate the small wins. So celebrate those small wins. This was everything for day number five of the process exercise, the game of building your best year ever. Okay, don't forget to add comments, uh, your feedback to this video and see you in day number six. Thank you very much.